as you are rebuilding a wall, this is automatically letting us know that you're going to deal with demonic opposition. That Satan is going to come and try to undermine everything that you try to put in your children. Everything that you've labored for in, in, in marrying a spouse. He's going to try to uproot the very foundations and tear down what you have tried to labor. The very things that you have prayed for. But somebody say with me, the devil is a lie. How many of y'all believe you know that you have worked too hard, you have prayed too hard, you've believed too hard, you've got too much time invested now to let everything that you've worked for, even though there come attacks against you, to let it all be for naught. And so uh, we have to set out as we are on our destiny. Uh, there are different things that will happen when you're on your journey in your destiny. You know, you, you, your car will sometimes break down. Uh, you make a wrong turn. Uh, there may be uh, road conditions that will cause a delay or detour. Uh, you could be carjacked. Somebody could be traveling that may get sick or you may get sick yourself. Uh, you may remember that you lost something or left something at your last stop. You may get sleepy on the journey. Your back will get uncomfortable. Passengers will begin to complain. People will be just like little children. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Uh, you, you could run out of gas. You know, uh, you could have mechanical failure where the air condition gives out, the heat fails. And so here Nehemiah was halfway on the journey, halfway to the completion of this destiny of, of building this wall, rebuilding the foundation here in Jerusalem, but, but he wasn't halfway through his problems. And so he was dealing with something. And so I want you to realize that it is totally natural, it's totally natural for you to want to turn back when you begin to have trouble on your journey. See, the temptation is to quit and then to find something to relieve the pain of failure. But whenever you start having trouble, uh, the, uh, our first instinct is to want to go back to the very thing that we were familiar with at one time. I mean, if you, if you think about that over in uh, Numbers chapter 11, verse 4, now the mixed multitude who were among them yielded to intense craving. So the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish which we ate freely in Egypt, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, the garlic. But now our whole being is dried up and there is nothing at all except this manna before our eyes. 